Welcome to Andy's Garage, I'm Andy Phillips. Today we're going to be going over how to change out the front upper control arm on a Chevy Trailblazer EXT. Uh, the same would also apply to the GMC Envoy version as well. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Okay, so we're doing the one on the passenger side. And we already have the tire taken off. And here is the upper control arm right here. What you're going to need, you're going to need a 21 millimeter, either a wrench or a ratchet, to take off the two bolts on each side right there. And then you're also going to need a 15 millimeter to remove this one here at the ball joint. So I'm going to go ahead and get these taken off so we can then swap that out and replace it. I'm going to go ahead and put a wrench on this side and a ratchet on this side so that way we can hold that in place like that. There we go. It's coming off. Now underneath the control arm right here, we have the line right here. You need to go ahead and take that off so that way when that pops, it doesn't put any pressure and pull that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect that. You see the clip right here? You basically just take a flathead screwdriver and just pop that off so that way you can then go ahead and drop the line out of there. Here we go. It's been pulled out. It's kind of a tight squeeze in here. Just gotta be patient. Well, to loosen these. Now to get this off the ball joint, this can be tight sometimes, you're going to want to bang on it with a hammer or, or a rubber mallet, just something to break that bond and get it up. Sometimes you got to spray a little bit of lubricant on there just to kind of loosen that up. In this case it was kind of a tight one, been on there for a while. There we go. Okay, and then for these now we can just, you don't want to pull them completely out because you don't have room. Just want to get them enough so that way you can pull them out. And that's here on both sides. So we have them pretty much to where you can hand loosen them. Enough to get them off of here so we can slide that out. Okay, now that you have the control arm, the old one off, we need to get this piece here taken off to add to the new one. And that is the piece that basically clips the, uh, the line that runs underneath. Just use a flathead screwdriver and you can just pry that off gently. Okay, so the old control arm is off. We have the new one here. We're gonna basically put it on the same way we took the other one off, just reversing our steps. We'll go ahead and use the old bolts. We'll put them in just enough so we can clear it, and then we'll be able to bolt them in once it's in place. Okay. Slide that up in there. Get it in place, good. There we go. Okay, <clears throat> you can hand tighten these in now, just to get them in. As you can see, they're connecting good. We'll do this side as well. Okay, so we went ahead and tightened these in with the 21 millimeter, not all the way though. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is put a little bit of grease on there, a little bit of lubricant to make it slide in. We'll get this in place. There we go, so that way now we can go ahead and Pop that in. Might want to, in this case, I'm using a crowbar because that's what'll fit in here. But if you can get a hammer or something to bang it down, tap that down. There we go. Perfect. Now we can put the 15 millimeter bolt in there. Ok, 
Okay, so now that that's in place, we're gonna go through on these 21 millimeters, tighten them all the way, and that should wrap this up. Go ahead and tighten that up. There we go. Okay, everything is nice and solid put on. You shake it, this thing is nice and tight. Um, I should have showed it at the beginning, but with the old one, it was loose and rattling and squeaking. So everything is good, we're done. Well, that wraps up our video for today on how to replace the upper control arm on a uh, Chevy or GMC. Uh, please send any questions, any comments. As always, we'd appreciate it if you'd like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm always uploading new content at least once or twice a week. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for your support.